the National Gallery's unprecedented Leonardo da Vinci exhibition, Painter of the Court of Milan, offers a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see most of the greatest works of probably the world's most famous artist. Sadly, the Mona Lisa is too fragile and too precious to travel from Paris to the National Gallery in London, but there are plenty of other treasures, a spectacular juxtaposition of two versions of the Virgin of the Rocks and Lady with an Ermine. I think the point here is that he's, he's entering the service of a great patron. It allows him to really meditate upon the art of painting. Um, it gives him the scope to do so by paying him a salary very straightforwardly. He's relieved of the whole commercial cut and thrust of, of Republican mercantile Florence. So really this is the time when he's able to ponder what painting can do and react accordingly. This is the moment when he really revolutionizes the art of painting for all time. This show was inspired by the gallery's own restoration of the Virgin of the Rocks, which revealed da Vinci painted virtually all of it, rather than leaving it to his assistants. The National Gallery's version hangs opposite the picture owned by the Louvre in Paris, an event that didn't happen in the artist's own lifetime. All seven of the surviving paintings from Milan can be seen together with 33 drawings from the Royal Collection. Art historian Martin Kemp says the show gives an idea of da Vinci's technical abilities as well as his artistry. I think we have a much better sense not only of how Leonardo painted and the technical analysis of what they look like, but with Leonardo we've got another way of testing whether they're Leonardo. He thought that painting was a form of science, so he's pouring knowledge into them. And the Salvator Mundi, for instance, is full of all sorts of clever optical things which rely upon Leonardo's understanding of light. Uh, and the pupils tended not to understand that. So the kind of science, as it were, uh, if it's not in the picture, then it's probably not Leonardo. Salvatore Mundi has very recently been attributed to da Vinci, but this remarkable exhibition gives the public the chance to assess the claim for themselves. The exhibition, which runs until February the 5th, is already sold out until the end of December.